Welcome to Paul's Spare Time. Something a little different today. Thought we would uh, do a little mail call. Just picked up the mail, got a couple of packages. So I thought we'd open them up together. And I'm sure they'll end up being something that we'll uh, use on the stream. So I uh, thought we would show you. So whether you are the regular Paul Spare Time crew that has been with us since we were doing videos and transitioned into Saturday night at 5 p.m. Four box half dollar hunts with donators. Or the group that joins us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. while we hunt the mom and pop penny boxes looking for what treasures might be in the boxes on top of two to three hundred wheat pennies. Or the folks like me that can't sleep and join me on Wednesday nights and uh, one other night during the week as part of the Coinsomniac crew where we just talk, open some uh, boxes of coins, see what we can find. We popped a Benji last night. <clears throat> we uh, found a guitar pick last night in a roll of half dollars. That was weird. We found a V-Nickel, the hunt before, and a box of nickels. My second ever that I found. That was a lot of fun. <clears throat> so, uh, it, was, uh, it was a good night. So, whichever group, and some of y'all may be a part of all three. Who knows? But, uh, welcome. Let's see what the uh, mail is bringing us today. This is from the Littleton Coin Company, I believe. I went ahead and cut it open. It is from the Littleton Coin Company. And with Littleton, you always get quite a bit of advertisement. But from Littleton, occasionally you get just a wildly crazy, unique item. And that's what I found online with uh, these. What did I order? Two 10 packs. I ordered <clears throat> 20 of these. To serve most likely as giveaways. These are wartime steel scents. Let's see if I can get one out. It might be impossible to get just one out. Like potato chips, you got to take a handful. Wartime steel scents from 1943. It says copper was essential for manufacturing war materials during World War II. Because it was in short supply, Congress banned the usage of it in coinage, along with nickel. Experiments were conducted using alternate materials plastic, ceramics, glass, rubber, even cardboard. The final decision called for the production of steel scents coated in a layer of zinc to prevent rusting. Steel scents were only produced in 1943, but they saved enough copper to build 1,250 Flying Fortress B-17s, or 1.25 million shell casings for the field artillery's largest guns. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a picture of school children parading with scrap metal they have collected for the war. And uh, it really was a nationwide effort back in World War II. But these are three beautiful pennies. That would be the 1943 P, D, and S mint mark. And it's dated 1994, Littleton Coin Company. So evidently they've had these around for a while. They are totally encapsulated in uh, plastic. But uh, that's going to be a pretty cool giveaway, I think. You get all three wartime pennies in uh, BU shape. And I think... I've got 20 of those, so uh, we will have some fun with those as giveaways. We might see those on Sunday's penny stream. 
make a nice end of stream giveaway. So that is our first item for today. The second is from a one of our members, Averdkurt has sent me a package. Averdkurt is a major supporter of our channel. We always appreciate everything that he does for us. And I think I think I've got an idea what this is. I think this is in the penny realm also. But there's no telling. Let's see what we have here. We've got a lot of packaging. Alright, that's all packaging. <clears throat> and make sure we don't show off any addresses here. Alright. Just got here. I'm very excited about it. If it's what I think it is. You all know Paul loves 2009 Lincoln pennies. I may need to turn my scope on for this one. We may have to show this up close and personal. Let me get the scope on. And then let me get over to the split screen and turn the microscope on. All right. <laughs> Colorized pennies. All right. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, first the front. And this is through plastic. It's a 2009D. Obviously BU. And it is colorized. Let me zoom out and see if we can get the whole coin in. Lincoln on the log. Wow. How beautiful is that? I don't have gloves on, so I don't want to take it out of the plastic right now and touch it and mess it up. But I will be putting those in hard case flips to keep. That is gorgeous. Let's see the next one. Oh, it's the capital. That is beautiful. Wow. Hudson's going to want to steal these from me. I'm not going to let him. I'm not going to let him steal them. I'm not linking at the state house. Very pretty. Very, very nice. And my favorite. Y'all know it's my favorite. It's the Lincoln Log Cabin. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 That is beautiful. Averdgert, thank you very, very much. That is so cool. I've got the four 2009 pennies, all colorized. I will put those in uh, some hard case penny holders, and then I will uh, bring them back out and show them to you guys at another time. 
but that is beautiful very happy thank you so much Everkurt and you'll be seeing the uh, the wartime uh, steel sense soon as uh, as well so I guess this was a uh, this was a penny stream just a quick mail call to break up your Thursday afternoon a little bit thanks for watching Paul see you again when I've got more spare time